I'm Domin Nelson, and I just got rossed. Well, Dom, thanks for coming out to Aronomic. Hope you enjoy what you're about to see. We're going out to the 11th hole, one of my favorite holes, and I think you're going to find it really exciting. Well, would you like to uh, tell me a little bit about what I'm about to get into? All right. Uh, you're about to get into some trouble, I think. But uh, the, le uh, the 11th hole, it's one of my favorite holes. It's a medium length par four, so it's not overwhelming as far as distance, but it does have 20 bunkers on it, which is a lot, obviously, for one golf hole. Yeah. You really got to be in a fairway. You're hitting to a really severe green, and to try and hit into it from the rough and keep it on the green is almost impossible. You do have to get it out there and try and get a lower iron in your hand because if yeah. you try and scream a a rescue or a four iron or something like that in there. It's just, again, it's almost impossible to keep it on the green. It has a big depression, like a thumbprint, right on the front. Mm -hmm. And you'll see that. And if the ball gets in that bowl in the front, uh, it has a tendency to either, uh, most of the time, just roll all the way back off the green. Yeah. So you actually got, you got to hit it to a certain spot on the green to keep it on the green. Yeah. Well, uh, you want honors? Uh, you want to go first? OK, yeah. all right. You sure? <laughs> yeah. Show me, uh, show me how it's done. And talk to me about how you're going to attack it a little bit, if you don't mind. I just want to be in the fairway. Yeah? I mean, the fairway's nice and wide. The fairway bunkers are too severe. Yeah. Like, you have no, no chance if you get into one of those for, to, to, uh, to be on the green in two. Yeah. Try and uh, keep it in the fairway. Well, I would say Kick you kept left. it in the fairway. I'll take, yeah, I'll take that. OK. It's a great strike. Thank you. Beauty. Thank you. You'll like that. I know you're a good golfer. you got a pretty low handicap. You work here. How do you like stay passionate about golf? Like uh, I, I know it's a passion, but you get off work here and go. You know what? I haven't had enough. I want to go play some more. Uh, believe it or not, I, ha I haven't lost any enthusiasm over the years for golf. Um, even when I go on vacation or take a week off, um, my wife's an avid golfer, and we tend to play golf every morning when <laughs> when I'm on vacation. So I would say. I'm probably on a golf course, out of 365 days a year, I'm probably on a golf course 340. And I was thinking about it the other day. It's just, I just haven't lost any interest. I like the architecture, I like mother nature, I like the environmental stuff. I like the game itself. So, um, yeah, just made a, made a uh, life of it. I'd say so. Uh, do you have any features on this hole that, like, Kind of a staple here any work that was done on the golf course over the years has always leaned towards restoration and their history with yeah. donald ross and everything so the latest was just another step to get it more and more authentic so this hole when it when it opened had i think 20 22 or 23 bunkers we put 20 of them back so yeah. it's pretty authentic and and the bunkers are in the same spot they were for yeah. the most part so this is how would it have been bunkered and how would it have looked in 1928 when it opened. But just shorter, right? So you guys are just moving tee boxes back and this is kind of the same as it was, right? You add length when we can. Yeah. You know, that's the simplest thing to do without destroying the uh, original architecture. Just add length. So this was a hole that that's all you really need to do. It was never, I don't think it was meant to be played as like super long hole, yeah. as you'll see when you get up closer to the green. Yeah. That whole left side, there's, there's a lot of green that's hidden right now, but middle short is no good. Because of the thumbprint. The thumbprint's going to roll it back off. I'm not sure, but I think that's a good shot. I hope so. I got a little thin. Groove or yeah. too thin, but. You can take a divot now. <laughs> you're, you're <gonna> take it. <laughs> I know it's an expensive course. I'm kind of scared, you know? Yeah, I don't that's, wanna... what, that's what it's there for. Yeah, you grow grass for a living. You're, you're letting me do yeah. it.
and I'll take that. <laughs> yeah, you're dancing. Do you ever play a course somewhere where you're, you're genuinely impressed and you're like, what can I do to copy that? All the time. There's really some great superintendents and clubs in the Philadelphia area, and I'm always amazed when I go around. Even when I'm you know, playing in a different area of the country, yeah. you always tend to run in, and then you immediately want to talk to the person that's in charge, you know, and talk to yeah. the superintendent. And, and uh, it's a good thing about this industry is everybody wants to help each other. They all talk to you, hey, what are you doing with this? Yeah. What are you using for this? I've never run into anybody that's not willing to share. All right, uh, well, you hit the green here. Looks like you know, you, obviously you, you got it right here. It just it was a little hot, like you said. I think this is you here. Yeah, my, skid. I came in a little low. Oh, is that kind of a pet peeve for you too, where you get on the get on the green, you got to meticulously fix every little divot? And uh, it, again, it's hard to turn it off. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So as you can see, there's a lot more room up here. Uh, unfortunately, um, I'm kind of dead the I, rights over there, right? I, yeah, I'm not sure what to tell you to do there. <laughs> <laughs> have to hit it up there someplace. Yeah. Somewhere but then it's going to get even faster. Yeah. Uh, I got a 60 in my hand. If I can clip it and spin it a little bit, maybe. You, you'll have a little bit of a fighting chance, yep. With how fast the greens are, do you ever have to fight whether or not, you know, it's, it feels like it's cheating? Or it feels like it's going to cheat your members? Or, like, you kind of got to have a balancing act for that, right? It, it's mainly just this green. Yeah. Uh, the rest of the greens are pretty forgiving. And we, we just try to get them as good and smooth as we do every day. And if we do get that right, they should. They always have plenty of speed then yeah. at that point. And so there's a there's a there's a sweet spot there where you have really great green speeds. Everybody's happy, and you don't lose too many pin placements. So you can still set the course up every day to be you know a blast to play. I don't know. It looks a little less menacing from over here. <laughs> hit it! Hit it! <laughs> Is it in the fairway? Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Sit. Please stop. I'm starting to feel a little cheated here. Uh oh. Oh, oh no. I tell you, you're <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're, if your shot stays up in this corner, you're fine. Yeah. You just are a hair long, a little bit thin and just a hair long. Yeah. Well, that's. So you probably want to. That's golf. That. That's life. No, I can, I can hit it back up here. You want to take a uh, cell phone and lunch or something to get, in case you get lost? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> See if I can get some Google directions on the so way back. Same thing, you got to try and get it all the way back to this bowl here, or to the pin. Well, I, I, I'm putting uphill, so it's not that scary. And uh, trust the break is, you know, it's going to go right. Yeah. And. I'm real happy with it, even though it looks like a, a decent birdie try, I'm happy with a par. Yeah. I mean, I, if, if, that go, if I get a par, I'm going to run to the next tee, so, <laughs> you know, <laughs> so nobody can take it back from me. Okay, then. Yeah. Ooh. He's a stick, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I'll take that. That hasn't happened in a long time. Yeah. A birdie on his soul. You hole. say that. You say that. But I'm starting to think that you uh, might be leading me on here. Get a stroke here, so. What was that? <laughs> you get a stroke here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nice putt. Thank you. Nice putt. Good comeback. Thank you so much for having me and John Deere out. Yeah. I've loved your course. We've had a great time. Uh, I hope you had a good time too. Yeah, oh, yeah, it was fantastic. So it was a great experience. And uh, again, we were glad to get you guys out here so we could show off a little bit show the club that we're so proud of and the members are proud of. Yeah. So glad to have you. Thank you so much. Yeah. All right, you want to you wanna jump in the clubhouse, have a drink or something? Yeah, sure. All right, <laughs> come on. Great opportunity to see a course with so much history where so many greats have played before. Big thanks to John and Aronimic for letting me experience 11 in such a unique way. If you like what you saw here, just wait till you see what's on myapproachgolf.com.